Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi guys, and welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I wanna to talk to you about how to build up tremendous potential energy into your forehand and use a technique that the pros use to create this potential energy, which is then released and to create some more power and more speed on your stroke. Now, most of the players watching this, probably you, when you take the racket back, you'll either split the hands too early or you'll split the hands later, but the wrist will be in a neutral position. Now, if we look at this now, this is neutral, this is flexion, and this is extension. When I'm neutral, then the muscles in my arm are equally neutral. When I'm in flexion, they're actually very relaxed. But when I'm in extension, now suddenly, all of the muscles are ready to help to contribute to any movement that I might make. If you think about this in everyday life, if you were pushing a car or a piece of furniture, then you won't push it that way, that would be absurd. You won't push it that way, you will push it this way. Extension gives a stable alignment of the limb and the hand and the arm, and it means that you have more inherent strength. So where does that apply to the forehand? When you look at the pros taking the racket back, then you see extension in the wrist here. But the only trouble is if you concentrate on that, you're not going to be concentrating on the ball. So to help you find this, look for what I call the portrait position. So if I was hitting the ball in this direction here, then now I'm going to take the racket back and leave the offhand on the racket until the racket has framed the portrait of my head. If I look to the side, I'm in the portrait position. Oh look, if I'm in the portrait position, I have full extension of the wrist. From this direction, you might be able to see more clearly. So now, portrait position, full extension. When I have the portrait position, I have full extension. If I have full extension, then all of the strong muscles in the arm are perfectly engaged and they're perfectly coiled, ready to add strength and create spin and speed in the stroke. So use the portrait position, use extension, and you'll have a better forehand today. If you like my ideas, check out our off-court services. We're providing one-to-one -one training for players in over 40 countries all over the world with a unique blend of video analysis and personalized one-to-one -one lessons. Or check out our books on Amazon. We have books on every part of the game, broken down into the science and the detail of the stroke, and then super simple solutions with great illustrations. Everything we do is geared to help you reach the next level and become the best version of yourself. So don't just rotate as quickly as possible. This will just create spin without real penetration. Rotate quickly into contact and then try and hold the body into a more controlled position and your arm will be thrown away through contact with the ball. You'll get more power, more spin, more control and you'll play better tennis. Thanks for watching. See you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.